Start off on a good note. So now we have smoked boneless eel fillets. I'm trying to find out. It says product of Thailandia. Is that like Thailand's little brother? I have no idea. Let's see what we got here. It's boneless. That's good because eels sometimes have a lot of bones. Easy open can quality. Yeah, product of Thailand. It's good till 2013. We got six more months. Let's see. It's a, it's kind of a thin can. I don't know what kind of eel this is. It's, this is a. Uh, made by Roland. So uh, give it a crack, give it a whiff. Ooh, that does not smell pleasant. Ooh, that smells like crap. Wow, they were gonna like, whoa, I, th I think the baby's full. That's not what it smells like. Oh, this is awfully Awfully light for being smoked. I hate these because you try and get the lid off without getting shot in the face with whatever's in the can. What the heck is this in? Soybean oil, boneless eel fillets. That's it. It uh, soybean oil. The fillets are, uh, again, try and keep it off of, keep it from getting on everything in the house. I'm not trying to gross anybody out. Neutral flavor. Eel in a can. It smells a lot better now. When I first opened the can up, you're kind of like, poo, but no. Now it smells like fish. And, uh, wow, it's, um, it's very flaky. Let's see how big these pieces are. Oh, these are actually good sized chunks. Not sure what part of the eel this is from. That's a, I mean, it's got a skin on here, which is, uh, yellow. Okay. Well, I don't know about the boneless part. Eels got tons of bones in them. There's like two fillets of, of stuff, and then there's like bits packed around the edge. Wow. That is... I don't know if I should call that mild or tasteless. I mean, I taste the... I taste the soybean oil more than anything else. It is very, very mild. And like I said, yellow skin. This is a pretty freaky looking eel. I'll leave that aside so I can take pictures of it. It comes apart really, ugh, comes apart really easy. Well, that was like the last of the pea, of the big piece. The rest of it, it looks like snot. There was like two pieces of eel in there. I mean, the rest of the rest of it's. I mean, you could kind of eat it, but it's like we got two pieces left. Put them in the can. What else we got? Let's scrape this off the little cutter. There you go. Now we got a full can. That's about what that looks like.
it's not bad. Let's let's talk about this whole presentation thing. Oh, that actually looks like a like the cover of a gill. Oh, that's pretty trippy. Um. You know, if you're going to put something in a can, you can get away with getting rid of pieces, little odds and ends. You can shove them in a can, because I'm sure people are going to pay more money for a whole piece of eel. But if you're going to fill a can up, don't like, and then stick it in the can. You know, I don't, yeah, this looks like it got scraped off somebody's shoe. I'm sure it's perfectly fine, but that texture, this, it's like fish-flavored mealy baby food. There's just like no texture at all. It's just mush. The the flaky pieces, like the the whole pieces like that, a lot better because it has fish texture. It's not just like this. This is just mush. I smell more soybean oil than I do fish. But wow, yeah, I'll take some stills of this. It's it's basically mush. I don't get it. You know, you got to have some pride in your product. You know, I don't, I'm not sure where Roland Company is, but I'm sure, you know, hey, you know. Oh, American Roland Food Corp. Great. So apparently it's all about the money. As long as we get people like me to try it, we'll keep making money off. And other than that, they, the company would have closed ages ago, I guess. I don't know, because they obviously don't care about what they ship out. Do you work for Roland? Send me a can. It doesn't look like somebody took a dump in it. It actually has fish fillets, and I'll retract my comments. I will refilm this and say, I'm sorry, Rowan. I just got a bad can. But this right here is, I wouldn't even put that on a cracker. It's like, it's like wet mush. I know it's it's got liquid and stuff in there, but it's, with some things you bite it, and it's, it's just, burp got stuck. It just feels wet and mushy in your mouth. It's just not appetizing at all. Yeah, so much for that. Um, it does taste smoky, but I think they put liquid smoke in it. That's not like smoke smoke. Like when you get smoked oysters in a can, they're actually, they've been smoked. They're a little dry, a little chewy. This is like liquid smoke. They just didn't, that must be the... Uh, it doesn't even say what's on there. Smoke boneless eel filet, soybean oil, salt. Something's in there making it taste like smoke. So apparently they didn't list everything on the label. I don't know. That's so much for that. Smoked eel filets. Yeah, maybe not.